Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. I'm an anchor and reporter for CBS and some of you have been asking great questions about my job. So I'm going to answer as many of those questions as I can before I have to anchor the news. So let's jump in. The first question, which is technically two questions in one, is what is it like doing three jobs at the same time and are you going to do any more day in the life videos? So this first question is referring to the fact that right now on the weekends, we don't have any reporters. So on Saturdays and Sundays, I report, produce, and anchor for all four shows. It's completely crazy. I film stories in between shows, and then while I'm anchoring at the desk on commercial breaks, I have my laptop right here, and I actually am editing the stories. Honestly, though, I could never do all of this if it weren't for my amazing staff. We have great directors, meteorologists, and I think all of the responsibility has also been a great teacher. Our wildest week was when lightning actually struck our building 10 minutes before show. We lost all video, but we pulled together and we pulled the show off. So it worked out in the end. Okay, let's go to the second part of this question. It's are you going to do any more day in the life videos? As long as you all keep asking for them, I'll keep doing them. And I really have been loving all the requests that you've been sending me. So keep sending them my way. I try to post a day in the life every single week on my YouTube channel. Okay, next question. What software do you use to edit your videos? Well, if I'm editing my videos on location, I bring my laptop and I have Final Cut Pro on that, but if I'm here in studio and I'm editing together national stories, I use Edius because that's on our desktops. Another viewer asked, how long have you been shooting? About 10 years in total because I have been at CBS here for about two years, but before that I was the number one reporter and anchor for VS1. Okay, so the next question actually refers to my last day in the life video when our meteorologist Andy spontaneously came into the video, he made a visit. So this question is, what type of mic did you use in studio at the end? When the weather guy dropped in, his audio was crisp in every direction and I didn't see any lav mics. As much as possible, I try to use stick mics. As you said, it really is a crisp sound. Now in that day in the life video, you didn't see it because it was pretty zoomed in. And the nice thing about having a stick mic is a lot of times if you have a clip on mic like this, if your clothes start rubbing or your hair goes over it, it can make popping noises, but that doesn't happen with a stick mic. And that mic also picked up Andy's voice. Okay, we have time for one more question. And actually speaking of Andy, our meteorologist, this one is about weather, so I'm going to go grab him. Okay, Andy, this last question is for you. Are you ready? Your blog's favorite meteorologist, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you've been in three videos now. I know, I feel like I'm right at home on He's your He's becoming cabin. a regular. Okay, this question is, what is the biggest challenge about reporting on the weather in Cheyenne? Um, that's actually a really good question. Uh, it's really just the unpredictability of it, really, Catherine. Mm -hmm. I think a great example is back when I was on the weekend show back in May. We actually, we were expecting severe weather, no tornadic weather, but of course, when it comes to weather in Southeast a Wyoming. A tornado appeared. It did I appear, and I had just come home from the gym and was sitting on my couch, and all of a sudden I see the tornado warning. And, and he got a call from me saying, Andy, get yourself in here now, please. <laughs> yep, and then we had a tornado going through the western part of Laramie mm -hmm. County, and we had the Rocky Mountains basically on the almost on the west side of town essentially mm -hmm. so mountains always can kind of mess with our weather we can have wild temperature uh, swings but it's what makes my job a lot of fun well we have to go get ready for the show now a little detail yeah a little detail. <laughs> so if you have any other questions definitely send them in and we'll see you later